Hi there, it's Shell, and welcome to day 14 of Our December Daily. So, first thing I want to do is show you guys what I received from my 25 day swap partner and these adorable socks. And you may not know this about me, but I am such a sockaholic. <laughs> I love socks. And I haven't been able to wear them much for the last couple of years because my legs are swelling and we couldn't figure out why. But I got a tinge unit and it's taken down the swelling in my feet and I was so excited because I can wear socks again. <laughs> so I wanted to show you those. I was really excited. So today we are working on day 14. I'm a couple of days behind. I had, you know, my migraine again. It lasted for a while, so it kind of put me behind a little bit. But on day 14, here's day 13. I'm going to see if we can put day 14 here, but I'm not sure it'll all fit. So let me show you what we did. We went to my friends, and this is my dear friend, Charlotte. And sorry she looks goofy. I didn't look at the picture, and so I didn't make another one. Sorry, Char. <laughs> so, she looks so goofy there. But anyway, she is making Lefsa. And Lefsa was so new to me when we became friends. I had never tried it before. And now she makes it every single year because it's kind of our tradition. Well, here is what I did is I looked up what Lefsa is. In Lefsa... Norwegian pr pronunciation is a traditional soft Norwegian flatbread. It's made with riced potatoes, riced or instant potatoes, flour, butter, milk, or cre and cream. It's cooked on a large flat griddle. Special tools are used to prepare lefse, including long wooden turning sticks and special rolling pans with deep grooves. So she made lefse. And if you can see in this picture, she has a long wooden um, handle. And she said that her mother, this was, I believe, was her mother's wooden handle, that the typical way that she has seen them make lefse is with broom handles. So that's, that this is not the typical way. The typical way in growing up and stuff, they used broom handles. And she uses a rolling pin that has like a cover on top of it to keep the left side think from uh, sticking. I'm not really sure. <laughs> and then she uses like a little pastry mat that's also like a kind of like a canvas. And here's the bowls of lefse. But her mother just passed away like a year or so ago, and all of her mother's lefse stuff she inherited. So I have the definition. Here is the Lefsa pan, which is kind of like just a flat electric griddle. So I may have to spread out. <laughs> and this is what Lefsa looks like when it's done. And this is so yummy. You, When it's warm, you put butter on it and sprinkle it with cinnamon sugar or with just plain sugar and roll it up and eat it like that. And it has the most awesome texture but if you just eat it plain to me there's no flavor so I really like it with the butter and sugar of course and anyway she made this for dinner the other night so we went over there played games with her and her husband and she had given me this recipe a while back I have never used it but I went ahead and typed up her recipe that she uses. And she always uses cooked potatoes. She has tried them with instant potatoes, but that's not her favorite. So I just think this is so fun. And it's a fun tradition for us. So I'm going to decorate this and just kind of pop that in here. Again, this is day 13, no, 14. Wow. <laughs> the days are going fast. Let's see what I have in here. So, you know, my days are getting really 
low, I'm going to have to double up on some of my days, it looks like, because I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough room. But we'll see. We'll make it work. So I need day 14. Put day 15 out, because I'll use that also. <clears throat> so I ho hope you guys are all having a good season so far. Are you guys going to parties or celebrating with friends or anything yet? You know, we don't do a whole lot with family and friends, but we do do some with our dear friends, Charlotte and Steve. And I'm having an issue finding number 14. Found 28. Let's see. Here, here's one. This will work better. I love the color. So, let me figure out what... <laughs> What I want to do here, let me put these back up, and we'll go with that. So I was thinking, I think I can do that. That would be kind of cool. It'd be a fairly easy page, I think. And I'm just going to use some of my double stick tape because my other um, glue kind of warps my photos. And I didn't want these to be warped. Now, actually, I need this one down first, the recipe, because I'm going to kind of overlap it. So we've about got all of our stuff ready to go. I need to pull out our Christmas stockings and get those hung up. We still do Christmas stockings. My husband and I do them for each other. <laughs> and then I do one for my sister and her friend. Because I think the stockings are the most fun. <laughs> so I'm going to put my left side right there. And then my little picture of Charlotte making left and when you're cooking less, so you don't want it to go too long at baking because then it gets crispy and you don't want it to be crispy you want it to be soft kind of like a flour tortilla but it's actually softer than that and I think that's the potato but she said that her mother would always make lefsa for all family gatherings and stuff so she was really happy to have her mother's um, left some making stuff so that's kind of fun but this is the third year that my mother's been gone so she passed in 2016 so I guess it's the second year for the holidays that she's been gone Dang it. so let's see where else I can put these maybe there Hmm. <laughs> what am I going to do now? <laughs> Let's see. I could put these guys down here, I guess, maybe. Can I cut this down? I need your help, Park. Make some room here. Let's see if I can get these to fit. I'll do it like that. Gabby's in the background talking to his cats. Leave my thread alone. <laughs> the cats always like to help us. <laughs> his little cat loves uh, thread, and my husband's crocheting right now, and he is over there trying to get his thread. <laughs> kind of funny but it's not funny when you're in the middle of a project and <laughs> he's kind of uh, jumping all God. over you yeah he's a pain <laughs> I was kind of hoping they'd all be asleep while I was 
recording today, but it doesn't look like it. And usually if he's if one of the cats needs attention or wants attention, he'll put down everything and love on them because he loves his little critters. But he kind of made a big boo-boo, so now he's dealing with that. And dealing with cats at the same time is not fun. <laughs> so, and I, I really appreciate all you guys who want to see my cats. You know, yeah, they're not in every video. Because I do try to wait until they're asleep. <laughs> before uh, editing or before recording. But that doesn't work out very well. Because they hear me talking and then they come running. And Okay, so let's put that there. But I think my little guy's asleep somewhere because I don't see him anywhere. And he's usually the one that wants to be a star. Hey, first, you're out alone. <laughs> so let's put him here. Okay, you gotta go. And let's see what else we can do Sorry. to kind of decorate up this area here. Do what we. I said, sorry, ladies. And gentlemen. And gentlemen. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is put just a little tag or something here so I can kind of journal on it. See what I can find. I don't want too big of one because I don't want it to cover up too much. That's kind of cute. I'm going to cut off this to and from. That way I can journal on the back of that. And then I just want to decorate up my page just a little bit because it gets kind of boring. And I like to have them decorated as I go. Oh, I like that. Let's put that there. Let me grab my art glitter glue, which I have okay so I have my art glitter glue here and I still haven't found my little thing to put it in there <laughs> I tell you I gotta get organized but I really had like a bad migraine for the last three days and then I took a muscle relaxer, which leaves me were incapable of doing anything <laughs> for about 36, 48 hours. So, so I'm a little bit behind on my videos, but I just need to get organized. So I'm going to put this here. This is some ribbon some little rickrack that my swap par partner decorated some of her envelopes with and I'm trying to use up some of that because it's really fun if I can get it to stay there <laughs> okay and then I'm going to use this and I want to just put a little bit of String through the top of it. Is that outside? I really like this red one. It's kind of like some baker's twine. I think that's cute. Just a little bit of decoration. And then, let me show you what I found. I went and looked through my stickers, and I have these little green stickers, which I think would be perfect for a holiday page, a Christmas page. 
figure out how to take them off here. <laughs> Pretty dainty. So let's see. But they are like perfect size there. That's fun. Let me see if I have one more for like right here. I think that one would work. Looks like our smallest. There we go. That's kind of fun. And then I thought I would put my number right there, as soon as I find it again. Number 14. I think that looks so cute. And then we'll stick our little tag in here and I will do a bit of journaling. So this is day 14. What do you guys think? I think it turned out so cute.